And what's up everybody, and this is Danny taking a look today at the HTC One camera, and I'm gonna be bringing you some still photos and 1080p video samples from this four ultra pixel camera. And there's been a lot of debate about this camera since it's only four megapixel, but it really does shoot some good photos and good video as well as you can see. Now it does have some software stuff where it tries to sharpen, and it sometimes over sharpens some things that are supposed to be blurry in the background and you can see that and there can be some color replication issues sometimes but like in that shot right there it's kind of out of focus and it's not sharp in some places and you can see here in the fine threading it's the same way but for the most part it takes some really really good photos here and you can see this and if you're worried about this being a four megapixel camera I really would not unless you're trying to blow these pictures up for print but you can see that you do lose some detail when you do crop but really in the end for a cell phone camera or a mobile camera this thing is phenomenal so I would not worry about it at all and you can see it picks up very natural colors which is nice for a camera these days it doesn't oversaturate so you can see that the color replication is very very good and it is sharp for the most part and you can see this in the sample photos it looks very good and the one thing it definitely does well is low light conditions and it does low light photography very well and you can see this with the food inside of the restaurant and it also picks up very very well under fluorescent lighting you can see how accurate the colors are too as well and I really like this camera I think it's definitely getting a bad flack for it it's a good camera it picks up really good details in low light you can see here and even under just lighting conditions inside the house at nighttime it definitely picks up well and it is probably the most color accurate camera that I have used so far in my testing and the video is also very very good and you can see here that the video picks up very well very smooth and I like the way the video looks on this camera. The one downside of this camera is it can have macro focus issues. It takes a little bit and sometimes you have to hit it two or three times to get it to macro focus but really in the end it takes really good macro video as well. And you may notice if you put it up against something like a Samsung Galaxy S4, it tends to have more saturated colors and brighter video. And sometimes people equate that to a better looking video or better looking shot. So it all depends on what you like and what your preference is. But you can see here that the video is fantastic. It takes really, really good video and it does have some good focus and you can set it to where you tap to focus and have focus lock, so that's really good as well. This is a test 1080p video sample from the HTC One, and you can see that it does support continuous autofocus, and it does autofocus very often. And you can see that the focus is very, very quick, but I'm gonna turn this off in the settings and come back to you. And here is the 1080p video sample with the lock focus on. And you will see that it only auto focuses if you were to tap on a subject now. Kind of like the iPhone, which is kind of nice. Tap on that to focus. And I find that this is the best way to take video so it won't auto focus on you all the time. So tap the screen here. And it goes back to focus. Let's pan a little bit and see if there's any screen tearing at all. See how it handles white balance and exposure. So there is a 1080p video sample right there and I will have more samples and videos coming right up. So let's look at some low light video here on the HTC One and if you're not familiar with what the ultra pixel camera is, they opted for a 4 megapixel camera that just has larger pixels and this thing is supposed to let 300% more light in than your traditional camera and you can tell here that it is definitely bringing in more light and this thing is definitely comparable if not better than the Nokia Lumia 920 and they are probably the king of low light photography at this point but you can see how accurate the colors are under bad lighting conditions and I think a lot of people will really like this 
for most of our pictures are done inside if you're at a party or something a lot of times the flash just blows out pictures and it looks terrible so i think htc is going in the right direction i think if they had some more megapixels in this camera to kind of even out the details of when you're blowing up the pictures it would definitely be good but look at the low light conditions here on this sample video outside and look at how much light it lets in i mean this is pitch dark with just some floodlights on outside and it looks fantastic so make sure you watch this samsung galaxy s4 versus htc1 video in low light condition because that's where this footage is from if you were worried about the camera on the HTC One and that was holding you from buying one, don't be because it's a great camera. Subscribe to my channel today and thank you for watching.